Hello again. This is the third episode of the Objection Handling 101 series. If you've missed the first two episodes, make sure you go back and watch them. You'll find the links in the description. Let's summarize what we've learned so far. First, we acknowledge the customer's question or concern in order to let them know that we understand them and to show that empathy. Then we probe the question by repeating it back to the customer or asking some follow-up questions. And we do this in order to make 100% sure that we are going to be providing the relevant answer to the customer. And this is all this video is about, providing a relevant answer to the customer's question or concern, explaining the value of our product, and providing evidence that their concern is actually not a problem. This is the second A in the APAC method. Let's practice. Imagine a customer says something like this. We think your product is way too expensive. The first step to do here is to acknowledge. So you would tell them, I perfectly understand that nobody wants to buy a product they don't think it's worth the value. This is a good first step to let them know that you're going to take their concerns seriously. Next step is to do the probe. So you can say, to make sure I fully understand your concern, um, I'd like to ask you if you're familiar with our pricing model, pricing structure, and I'd like to know how you're comparing that to your current system. Why would you be asking something like this? Likely, the customer doesn't understand fully your cost model at this stage. And all they know is they some bits and pieces of it, and they, how much, they know how much they are paying for their current system. With this, you're asking probing questions and opening up for a possibility to explain to them the cost model and realize how it's different from what they know. So you're using this concern or this belief that they have as an opportunity to pitch your product further. So you can answer like this. Our customers, after getting familiar with our pricing model and the structure, quickly realize that they are getting cost savings and much better total cost of ownership by using our product compared to other systems. With this answer, you're turning that negative perception or belief they have about your product being expensive into something positive for them, into a advantage of your product. This is where you want to be. Here's another example, and this is a cold calling situation. This is the first time you're talking with a customer and he tells you something along these lines. You know, I'm very busy and I don't have time to talk now. Let's talk again in six months. You first want to acknowledge that he's busy. So you would just say, I fully appreciate you being honest and direct with me. I understand that you're very busy right now and I appreciate you taking a little bit of time to pick up the phone and talk to me. Then you would go to probe and you would ask, so for me to fully understand your current situation, may I ask what is that work that's keeping you busy and occupied all the time? Customer is probably going to tell you that they're busy maintaining the current system. You know, he and his team are all hands on deck. They have zero capacity right now to look into alternative products. The appropriate thing to do here is to explain the customer that if they don't change anything, they'll be busy forever. They'll be busy in six months, in 12 months, in 24 months. And the effective way to do that is simply to ask them, so what do you think will be different when we talk again in six months? The answer you're looking for here is nothing. Then you have an opening here for the next step of the objection handling. And that's it. APAC is not about doing some mind games with the customers so you can trick them into getting that next call. It's really a common sense way of establishing and building, gradually building that relationship with a customer so you can get their buy-in for the next steps. Talking about uh, steps, this was the third step answer of the APAC methodology. 
and if we've been doing things right so far we probably have customers full attention by now so it's time to do the last part of the objection handling which is confirm and transition we'll talk about these two next time stay tuned and subscribe to better pre-sales for more content take care see you next time